Hello everybody and welcome in this beautiful Sunday update and in today's video we are going to have a look at the weekly price action of Bitcoin as today is Sunday and we are going to see a weekly close today which is going to tell us a lot about what is going to happen with Bitcoin in the coming days and week which right now is actually not too bullish but yeah we also have been expecting that like I've been stating in my previous videos um, yeah, if we lose certain levels we can visit the next support level uh, which we will also go through in today's video so guys before we are jumping into bitcoin make sure to scroll below this video hit the thumbs up button that is very much appreciated now let's dive in the weekly time frame of bitcoin and what we can see here is that we have a very red weekly candle uh, which we will close today and depending on where we are going to close today will be definitely de determined on what we are going to see most likely next week if we were to close this weekly candle below this um, support and resistance level of approximately 35.8k then the chances are significantly increasing guys that we are eventually um, yeah, going to see these lower levels bitcoin to drop to 32,500 and even as low as to the um, lower 30,000 US dollar levels if we have a look at some different signals right here like the open interest of Bitcoin then we do see a decrease in the open interest but we haven't yet seen that flush funding rates are very negative which is a good sign this is one of the more bullish signs right now the funding rates and as we are seeing not yet a extreme reading on the funding rate guys the price could still drop lower uh, and we still could see a yeah, further decrease in the funding rate and eventually get that extreme reading so let's go over the levels that we are watching in the bitcoin price also guys when we have a look at the momentum indicators we are not yet seeing any signs of a reversal yet that is also important to note i also want to share this quickly with you guys a tweet from phil b he's stating right here that you can see the distance from the price from the 20 week moving average is also often showing where the potential bottom is going to be right together with increased amounts of volume and so on other signals how we can determine where the bottom is uh, but right here we can see that we also approaching a support level right here if we have a look at the distance what the price has from the 20 week moving average which is a key moving average in the bitcoin charts a lot of traders are watching that moving average and as you can see every time we are yeah reaching around that blue area that blue line right here then we are seeing that bounce that the price is coming back up getting closer to the 20 week moving average and right now it looks like we still could see a drop to test this level so we still could see lower levels a further distance from the 20 week moving average but it also looks like we are getting closer and closer to a bottom where i myself am also quite convinced of i think bitcoin is either going to bottom most likely at one of these levels so we are either going to bottom most likely around this level but yeah between the levels we are trading right now and 32,500. and but as we have not yet seen that flush i think it's also possible for bitcoin to drop below the um, slightly below 30,000 us dollars and eventually create a bottom over there Another important chart to watch is of course the S&P 500. Let's have a look at the SPX right here. And the SPX is going to test a major level right now this weekend. So this, um, this market is closed. But as I've been mentioning in my previous videos, guys, if we were to lose this level decisively, that would be very bearish right now. However, the chances are more likely that we are going to hold this level as support and that we are going to bounce off from this level uh, together most likely we will see something similar with bitcoin i think the bottom in the regular financial markets will be similar uh, as the bottom that we are seeing at bitcoin if we have a look at time wise that's why we are going to watch this chart very closely and yeah guys if you are new right here on the channel and you want to know whenever that happens whenever we are touching that level whenever we are seeing that potential bounce make sure to subscribe to the channel that is very much appreciated but as we can see right here in 2008 we also had that rising channel we broke out to the upside we saw increased volatility we back tested uh, the former resistance and we got a bounce and we basically entered the 
yeah, latest phase of a bull cycle, the blow off top phase. And I think something similar could happen right here, where we also entering the blow off top phase, but still we, um, we haven't seen it yet. So we haven't seen that blow off top event actually occur. That's also why I think it's more likely that we are going to see a bounce from this support level. Then guys, let's go quickly back to Bitcoin. What are we watching right now on Bitcoin? Well, of course, right now we got the weekly close coming up, which is going to be very important. But I think the most important levels to watch right now is the resistance above us at 35,800. Maybe better, better visible in the four hour time frame. We have the resistance above us, 35,800. I've been pointing out this level before it shows significant right here. So we can see. Um, yeah, a very nice reaction with the price. Of course, if we can break above 35,800, then we might see a small bounce right here in the Bitcoin price. Um, as long as we are trading below it, we could visit the next level at 32,500. If we were to lose that level as well, the next major level to watch is 30,000. If you are a hodler, if you are a long-term investor on Bitcoin, I think these levels are great buying opportunities. If you are looking for long positions with leverage i still would wait if i were you because you don't want to catch a falling knife we want to see bitcoin first making a kind of bottoming formation and that is the moment we want to look for long positions if you are interested to trade bitcoin with leverage you can do that over on the bybit exchange right on the bybit there is a huge huge bonus going on the biggest bonus that i've ever seen where you can get an additional deposit bonus of 4,460 US dollars and you will get a 30% discount on your fees. And that is only possible if you sign up with my affiliate link down below this video. If you want to learn more about how the Bybit Exchange is working, I've made multiple tutorials on that. You can find them over on my channel. Uh, but yeah, right now you got a limited time to take advantage of this major bonus if you uh, use my affiliate link down below to sign up. On Femix, we have a bonus of 1200 US dollars and on the Prime XPT platform, you can get a 25% discount on your fees. Then guys, um, yeah, that was it actually for today's short analysis. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to leave that thumbs up. Very much appreciate it. I want to wish every single one of you a amazing Sunday and I hope to see every single one of you in the next video.